My guy Stuart in Arizona just bought two really fascinating meteorites from my online shop. Let's get them packed up and sent over to him. It's a beautiful Georgia morning here. We got Dory the lab cat hanging out and we've got a bunch of meteorites over here. So there are a couple stones in this order. The first is this beautiful diagonite slice. It's from Asteroid 4 Vesta. And it's got some really interesting coloring, some interesting texture on it. We're talking diagonite, so basically space lava. Very neat. That's uh, in this Riker case here. And then what I think is one of the most beautiful stones I have, uh, I'm really kind of sad to see this one go, is this guy. He's an ordinary chondrite that landed in Algeria. And kind of neat looking here, but the real beauty of this one is here. Look at those stunning fluted regmaglyph, those little thumbprints in there. They give some hint as to how this stone flew uh, because essentially what happens is pieces of the stone were ablated as it flew through our atmosphere and created these elongated thumbprint looking indentations. Uh, regmaglyphs aren't entirely rare. They're pretty common on meteorites, but these fluted or elongated regmaglyphs absolutely are. Um, I almost didn't sell this stone. I almost kept it for my collection, so I'm a little sad to see it go, but uh, Stuart ought to enjoy it and got a pretty good price on it. Let's grab all the things we need. We got space rocks, so they are going to get a space box. Get some starry packing paper. He's going to need a couple of stands. Let's get one of these small slice stands, and we'll get this big stand for the big piece. Let's grab one of our 3D printed moon folk. And let's grab a, a couple of... Uh, stickers here. Payload is ready to go. Let's pack it up. Almost ready to go. One more thing. All the way from outer space to Georgia and now headed over to Arizona. Stuart, space is about to be within your reach. Hope you enjoy them.